So let's move. Now, Retabile Mufukin, your question will be answered on this slide. What happens when it goes up? Remember, we said we have our window. Let me quickly write it again. I want you to memorize and know this. Velocity increases when an object is moving down. But now let's consider this object, type 2. Object thrown up from a point and caught or returns to the same particular point. So it was given initial velocity to move up. Hence, now we said it is important to label our points in the motion. So now let's consider the motion of from A to B. What happens now from A to B? V initial is greater than zero. That is very, very important. Because now if V initial is equals to zero, which is dropped, it means it will move down. But we are now trying to force it to go up. As forcing it to go up means what? We need to give it a certain uh, V initial. So we are throwing it up with a certain V initial which is greater than zero. But now this decreases as the object approaches approaches B. Remember it must now change the direction. It must come down. So it was going up, reaching the maximum height, then change the direction. So it must somehow have stopped in order for it to change the direction. That is the reason why we say now at the maximum height, at the maximum height, V is equals to zero. I don't want to say V final, I just want to say V is equals to zero because it will depend where are we in our motion, where are we in terms of the information that is given. So now we further say what happens at B which is now the maximum height. At maximum height V is equals to zero, G is equals to negative uh, 9.8 meters per second and velocity increases towards towards C, which is true according to window. It is going to start with zero from B to C. So starting at B with V uh, which is equals to zero, it must now increase to uh, C. So it basically says when the object is moving up, the velocity now decreases and this will assist us in those multiple choice type of, of questions. We are expected to draw position versus time. So for position versus time, it will start at A, reach a maximum point of B and fall back to point C where it started and it will reach maximum height at a certain specific specific time. For velocity versus time, what do we know? V initial is greater than zero, so that is point A. It will now decrease until it reaches point B. Hence we say at maximum height or at point B is equals to is equals to zero. Then it will move from zero to C. But what do we know about uh, the v, v initial at A and V initial at C? We definitely know that it is just V initial is equals to V final in an opposite direction. But now this is at, at C in this particular statement. What do we know about acceleration? Acceleration is the same throughout, negative 9.8, whether it is going up or down, because we chose now our direction of motion as what? As upward, as, 
as positive. Hence, we managed to get to this particular uh, type of a graph. So we are building in on top of the things that we have in order for us for our foundation to be to be to be solid. So for today, then let's now look into. Okay, I have explained the slide. Then it means another 30 seconds for everyone to digest this.